How you doing Lions? My name's Drew and I'm going bald. It might not look like it at first glance, but I've been losing my hair for the past 11 years. In today's video, I'm going to shed some light on the process of going bald and uh, help you determine how far along you are. So let me give you a little bit of a backstory. When I was 23 years old, I was living in South Korea and I was teaching English. And that was when the very first time I started noticing that my hair was starting to recede ever so slightly. So how I noticed it first was a random rogue hair that was kind of sprouting like out of my forehead. And I thought it was kind of strange. I was like, why is this random hair kind of coming out when everything else is a little bit further back? So these little hairs here would start to kind of almost isolate themselves, like all the other hairs had fallen out around it. I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would be losing my hair. Every single person in my recent family history has a full head of hair, and even as a child, my parents were like, well, at least you're not gonna go bald. So when I came home from Korea, I decided to go to a specialist just to check things out. My suspicions were correct. I was falling victim of male pattern baldness. So I was recommended to take a drug called Propecia. The doctor told me that most men will use this drug up until they get married, so that way they can find a woman, and then once they get married, they I guess they let themselves go and they stop taking it. Sorry honey, I've been lying to you all these years, I'm going bald. I had been vegetarian for about three years, and something at that point triggered that I thought, maybe I, I'm not getting enough protein. So I started introducing chicken and fish back into my diet, and uh, believe it or not, I feel like that was one of the main reasons why my hair has kind of held on until now. I started researching natural remedies to slow or reduce the natural hair loss process. I made it a goal to eat better and introduce more protein into my diet. And as I already said, my hair loss seemed to kind of like hold in place. It wasn't really dramatically losing more hair. Uh, I wasn't regaining hair, but it was still kind of, it was like holding its own. So I know what you're probably thinking, I have a very thick full head of hair, and I do, I still do at this point, but part of the reason why I'm making this video is because I've noticed that my hair is starting to be on the move again. And we're gonna use something called the Norwood scale today in order to determine just how far along in the balding process we are. I'm sure there are a lot of viewers that have a lot less hair than I do, but still, this will still apply to you because you, know, you can determine how far along you are, it just will be further in the stages. Okay, I've just swung over to my computer here and I'm gonna read a little bit more about this Norwood scale. How bald are you? So we've got seven different stages of hair loss according to this scale. Type one is there's minimal hair loss. And that was me right when I first was kind of diagnosed with losing my hair with just those random rogue hairs. No one would have noticed. Type two, there's insignificant hair loss at the temples. I'm, I'm a little bit further along than that. Type three is there's the first stage that requires treatment. I'm at that point now where I think I'm probably close to stage three. As you can see here, my temples are going back quite a bit and I've definitely lost, I wanna say almost an inch of probably of my hairline right about here. The left side's not quite as bad. It doesn't go quite as far back, but this side's much worse. Type three vertex has a receding hairline and thinning hair on the vertex. Let me see if I can show you the top here. I feel like it's still fairly, fairly full. Type four is there's a bigger pattern on the vertex and hairline. So I'm not there yet, you might be. Let's keep going. Type five, patterns at both sides are bigger, but a thin division line is still present. So this part has not connected to the crown or the vertex at this point. Type six, the bridge is gone, but several strands of short, fine hair may remain. Not quite Homer Simpson, but you're getting there. And type seven, the most severe form of hair loss, little hair on the front or top of the head. I'll put a link to this chart in the description box down below if you wanna kinda of figure out how far along you are in the balding process. So am I upset that I'm going bald? Yes and no. Sure, I wish my hair would stay like this forever, but at the same time, if I hadn't started losing my hair, then I probably would've never started this YouTube channel learning how to to enhance your beard and enhance your hair and then to share that information and to motivate other people to do it. This has also been a major reason why I've started Project Full Mane, where I'm encouraging you guys to grow your hair and your beard for at least one time in your life. This very well could be my last chance, so I'm going for it. Now, if you're already past the point of no return and there just isn't enough hair on top to go for that full mane, then don't stress about it. Just focus on the beard and work on your style. And remember, if you get desperate, there are always hair plugs. Now before I go, I just wanna share one technique with you guys that I've been using uh, for the last maybe close to a month 
Uh, in order to kind of maintain my hair looking somewhat decent, I'm kind of in that awkward stage where it's just a little bit helmet heady. Okay, so I'm going to use my Seven Potions uh, Salt Texturizing Spray and then my Hair Styling Clay. So let me just show you how I've been using these products to make my hair look better. My hair is dry, I just took a shower, I haven't put any product in it yet. So what I do is this. I start with a comb and the spray and I lift my head underneath like this and then I give it a spray and I go all the way through it. So the texturizing spray is gonna add texture and volume to your hair. And if you don't have thick hair, this is gonna help a lot in that department. It's gonna make it look fuller. Brush it right in through your hair. I have very straight hair and after using the texturizing spray, you can see just how much of an afro it looks like. Okay, anyway, let's go on to the clay now. So what I've done with the clay, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just take a little bit like this, obviously warm it between your palms, start at the back of your head, work it in. I like to go up the sides while I bring it in. Make sure every hair strand is coated, if possible. Comb it back. This stuff doesn't leave your hair greasy uh, because it is a high hold matte finish. Let that dry for a bit. Let that, uh, let that clay kind of firm up in there and you're good to go for the day. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my content and you wanna be notified when I have my uploads or when they're available, hit that little notifications bell beside subscribe. I really appreciate it, you guys, because it's hard to get noticed. I'll see you in the next one.